I think this hackathon is going to be awesome. Um, the really cool thing about Ethereum to me is like building really interesting solutions to cool problems that we haven't been able to solve before. And I'm really excited to see this huge space of people who are excited about solving those problems, have really cool ideas and things they want to accomplish. And I think we're going to build out a lot of cool stuff this weekend. Even if there's not too much that you can do within 36 hours, you still very often find that there's some team that comes together during a hackathon, builds something interesting, sometimes win a prize, sometimes they don't, and then they decide, no, hey, this is actually an interesting idea, and they just keep working on it. We knew that there was a lot of demand for people to be learning about this new technology, and so just wanted to see how we could put together an event that helped push forward Ethereum. The ultimate goal really was just to figure out how we could really contribute to Ethereum by bringing many more developers into the ecosystem. Well, I'm judging at ETH Waterloo. We wanted to be here because all the cool people are here. I mean, this is an amazingly exciting event. The amount of stuff that got done here in 36 hours was just unbelievable. Yeah, so I mean, the reason I came to ETH Waterloo is there's a ton of developers here building awesome applications on top of Ethereum. So I wanted to like check that out firsthand. ETH Waterloo is far and away the largest uh, Ethereum hackathon uh, that we've seen to date in the space. And also has attracted um, probably the most talented crop of technologists building it, uh, at this event, so uh, we were happy to be involved. Regarding TrueBit, you know, we came down here to meet the brightest minds in the space and uh, get them pumped up about our project. Uh, talk to them about how we're trying to solve the hardest problems in the space using really innovative game theory. There are many exciting projects that are assuming that, oh yeah, we will use blockchains and you know in your daily life. But for us to get there, we actually have to solve a lot of deep technical problems and you know it'll take us a while you know no doubt about this but I'm so excited to see all the smart people working on this stuff collaborating. It's so much easier to be able to ask the person next to you to uh, get a quick answer compared to looking up for hours uh, searching the internet so kind of just as events having everyone in the same room being able to quickly move forward uh, ask questions I think it's a great great starting point. The presenters were really great. They, we had a lot of probably the smartest minds in, in Ethereum, basically, uh, walking around in mentoring groups. So when people had questions about the technology, they didn't just have to ask someone who was smart. They asked someone who's smart and actually built the thing. Since people aren't trying to start necessarily something that will lead to making them money, that leaves them free to experiment with a lot of new technologies, things like decentralized storage, decentralized encrypted messaging in new ways that haven't really been thought of before. So we're starting to see, I think, at hackathons is where we'll see projects that utilize the network effect of something like Ethereum the best. I, I think I'm, I'm here more for supporting other hackers. Uh, we, have, we have a peer-to-peer -peer video streaming uh, platform that um, some people are interested in using to build video-based decentralized hacks. Well, we called it a, an initial bounty offering platform. Um, basically, it's a, small, a contract that lets you create bounties and, uh, and lets people claim bounties and lets the uh, bounty administrator approve bounties. And it works with any ERC-20 token. Yeah, I think it's, it's hard to get developers not to be excited about this technology. It, uh, I think it really represents the, the next wave of development um, in the IT world, uh, we're, it's like a sea change in how information technology systems are being built and going to be built. So what was interesting today is to find all those wonderful teams of young people, um, some of them are dropping out of uni in fact, to go and build real application, real technology, real dApps on the Ethereum platform, something that will form essentially Web3. And one of these guys could be the next Google, you don't know. It's really exciting stuff. Um, I think most of all, the most important thing is just that we've kind of proven here that there is an intense demand to build decentralized applications. This building right now is about 350 to 375 hackers in it, and that could easily have been over a thousand. We have people from across the world that like, have sent applications that they really want to be here. The most fun is always just shooting the shit about cool crypto economic designs, talking about like consensus algorithms and validator economics and, and all this cool fun stuff and just catching up with old friends that I haven't seen in a while. I got in and I was like, oh, I've been up all day. Like I'm probably gonna go to bed at 10 p.m. Um, and then I just like, Somewhere around 9 p.m. I started having conversations upstairs, like I ate a donut, and I looked at my watch and it was like 1.30. I was like, what 
what happened? Like, where did, where did the time go? And it's, it's, it's just remarkable how many amazing people there are here and how like, easy the conversations flow. Hackathons like ETH Waterloo are really important for the community because it allows people that are interested in Ethereum but maybe not deep in the community to get a chance to meet everyone that's you know, been part of the community for a long time, uh, get to meet all the people here and kind of feel welcome uh, and yeah, to kind of get started.